Hi, it's Ken Hadrick, Dean of the Pie Academy. Tell me this, have you ever heard of a floating top pie? Sort of sounds like your top crust should be levitating over your pie like a flying saucer, doesn't it? Well, that would be really neat, but that's not the sort of floating top I'm talking about. What I am talking about is a crust that sits on top of the filling, but it isn't connected or anchored to the sides. It just floats there. And as you can see, it makes for a very pretty presentation because it exposes the filling in the center and around the edges. And it's really good looking when you have a colorful filling like our cranberry cherry pie. Here, let me show you how it's done. Just roll out your pie dough like you normally would on a sheet of wax paper to a thickness of about 1 8 inch. Trim the dough so it's just a little bigger than your pan and then slide the dough and the paper onto a small baking sheet and freeze for about 20 minutes. You want the dough to get good and firm. While your dough is chilling, measure your pan's diameter from inside edge to inside edge. Then either find or create a template circle that's one inch smaller. That means if your pan is nine inches, you'll need an eight inch circle for your template. Duh. Duh. A paper plate works good here, or, or maybe one of these things, like a silicone trivet. Put the template on top of the firm dough, and then cut the dough into a circle using a paring knife, or better yet, a pastry wheel. Finally, cut a one inch hole in the center with a small round cutter. Actually, the hole in the center could be round, it could be square, it could be bigger or smaller, it could be a heart shape, whatever. Now make sure your filling is nice and smooth and even, and then drape your pastry over the filling. Brush the top with an egg yolk beaten with one tablespoon milk and bake as usual. And that's all there is to making a floating top pie. Thanks for watching today and we hope to see you over at thepieacademy.com real soon. Take care.